Well, Mike, here we have our full line of ND handheld and performance microphones. Um, this is our, our latest line that we've uh, launched, ND standing for neodymium magnet structure. Okay. Uh, again, all of them have it in it. So uh, uh, if you like, I can take you through the different uh, flavors and, and what this is all about. Yeah, let's start. I mean, it looks like a, a wide variety. We've got a bunch of different vocal mics and instrument here. So. Yep. Um, let's start with the vocal mics. Right on, full compliment. And, and you know, one thing about uh, handheld performance microphones or instrument microphones is if you want to improve your sound, the most affordable and easiest way to do that right. is to start with a microphone. And yeah. if you, you know, if you're a singer or, or a content creator or whatever you're doing, um, the human voice for the handheld performances is all about sounding the best you can. And it's really important to find the right mic for your voice. That it, a microphone should make it easy to sing. Um, you should be able to sing longer. Uh, you should like the sound of your voice and right. not have to worry about that. So that's what these mics really are good at. Uh, and the different flavors I'll walk you through. So our, the first microphone is the ND76, okay? okay. This is my uh, general purpose, hand it to anybody, they're gonna sound great, okay? okay? Um, it really excels on a small uh, PA system mm -hmm. uh, or a small club system, something like that because there's acoustical uh, problems and situations that happen in a tight, uh, tight venue where this mic really excels at that, makes it a very professional produced sound right out of the gate. And that's got a cardioid pattern on that one? That is correct. So it's a cardioid pattern um, that uh, rejects anything outside that cardioid bubble. Uh, it's got neodymium magnet structure. Uh, some of the other details that we put into the engineering is a Memoriflex grill. So if you drop the microphone or something, the grill is not going to dent. It's spring steel. Um, so your mics are going to stay looking good. Um, there's an actual four-point shock mount under the hood. This isolates inherent handling noise and stage rumble when the microphone is on a microphone stand. Um, very important to isolate it. As we saw on our other microphones in broadcast, a big shock mount with rubber bands hold, isolating it from a stand. Uh, same scenario here, just in a smaller version. What would you say that mic sounds like? It's just what I would call a very sweet produced sound right out of the gate. A uh, nice warm low end to warm it up. Um, very smooth in the mid-range and a nice sizzle up top to bring out the articulation of the human voice. Um, so I, like I said, I can hand that mic to anybody and whether they're great at holding a mic or knowing how to use a mic, they're going to sound good right out of the gate. And we've got a version with a switch here. That also. is correct. If you want a switched version, uh, we have it's the exact same microphone, same sonic characteristics, but with an on-off switch on the microphone itself. A lot of schools, churches, things like that where they don't have a full-time sound man need the access of on-off switch right on the microphone. Yeah, it can certainly be handy. So yep. uh, the 76 is kind of where it starts, and then jumping up from that is the yep. 86? Correct. The next one in the line is 86. And, and again, all of these uh, dynamic microphones, both uh, perf uh, voice and instrument mics, are what we call large diaphragm dynamics again, as we discussed earlier. Uh, but the 86 then goes, is the step up from the ND76. But again, these are tools and it's all about matching it to the right voice and the right acoustic situation. The ND86 is a very, very flat microphone, um, not enhanced EQ anywhere around it. Really excels in a larger venue or on a larger PA system which have inherent acoustical problems that are different than the small club scenario right. that we discussed earlier. You don't want to over accentuate anything because that'll take off on you so quick on, on a big PA like that. Exactly correct. So it's very, very flat, works great on a, on a large PA system or in a large venue. Okay. Uh, then we notch up to the ND96. Yeah, this one looks weird. It, I mean, it does. It, it's got that different, it's kind of like a flat head. It's, yeah. it's, it's that's great. Kind of cool though, too. It is. Why, why is that? Um, well, uh, this, this microphone is basically built for a very loud stage scenario. Um, it's uh, gain before feedback is the highest. And what I mean by gain before feedback is, is it's an incredibly loud microphone right out of the gate. So you don't have to turn up the volume on your system or on your gain control introducing noise. Um, it's amazing at rejection sound from anywhere outside its bubble. Okay, okay. Um, so if I'm in a very loud band with an acoustic drummer right behind me and I'm the singer, and he's banging, he's banging away, right, right there, right I head. don't want to pick up that 
that sound of those drums. I want to isolate the vocal. Okay. So this mic being incredibly hot, and you'll see that the, the flat grill is for a reason. I'm literally putting your sound source, your mouth, on top of the capsule, okay? Right. So whenever, you, whenever I can get the sound source closer to the, the magnet itself, I'm picking up more sound. So it's, it's okay. a hotter mic, it's a louder mic right out of the gate. Now, you might say, well, if you're so close, what happens with the plosives? And as you see under the hood, we have a stainless steel plosive filter oh. uh, immediately under the grill, plus cloth, so the plosives aren't a problem, even though your sound source is right on top of the capsule. So obviously we always encourage people to have their own microphone, right? I mean, Absolutely. you wanna choose your microphone for your voice, for your voice. right? Um, but not only that, but it's also, you know, hygienic, right? To be able to, to, to you know, there's spit and gross things going on here. But I, I guess what's, what's cool about this as well is, you know, you, you can wash this very, being stainless steel Absolutely. No big deal. You can, you can sanitize that and, and, and share this mic if you, if you needed to. Right? There you go. And, you know, you know, in today's world, singing, speaking into a microphone, you know, moisture exits your mouth no matter what happens. Right. That ends up in the grill and being able to clean it is a really important deal. So that's the, the vocal mics. But moving on then to the instrument mics, yeah. right? Uh, there's only four, but you can do a lot of different instruments with these, right? A absolutely, Mike. You know, the first one in our instrument line is the ND44. Uh, again, um, even though it's a small uh, multi-position microphone, so you can put it anywhere, it, it still has all those same inherent things, ND uh, main structure, neodymium, um, large diaphragm, dynamic, um, but very maneuverable. Uh, you can put this anywhere. Uh, great Tom mic. Um, where it's not in the way of the drummer's sticks, uh, the cable comes out and goes, you know, uh, away and down, so it's not sticking out in camera shots, all that kind of thing. You can put it up underneath a snare very easily because it's so nice and small. Uh, it's an amazing guitar cabinet microphone. If you just need to hang a microphone over the front of your guitar cabinet, uh, it can do that too. The punch and clarity in that ND44 is really where it lives. So uh, rack toms. Uh, guitar cabinets, things like that, where you need the punch and clarity to get it out in the mix. So very versatile, not only in the instruments that it can, uh, you know, do very well on, but also in its positioning, right? You can exactly. get it into tight spaces, get it in, in a cool spot. So, okay, so that's the 44, and then yep. this one is? This is the ND46, kind of the big brother. Uh, similar characteristic is it does have a push button and locking pivoting mechanism. Oh, so cool. for positioning, again, small format. Um, in the relation to the two, this one is just a little bit warmer. Uh, you're using uh, lower frequency instruments on something like that. Um, I've used it on trumpets, trombones, saxophones, guitar cabinets, bass cabinets, low toms. Um, it's absolutely amazing. It's rich, it's warm, it's huge. That is the ND46. Well, I think it's, it's cool because it's actually kind of like a nod, the, the design, the look of it actually kind of looks like um, some of our loudspeakers. It's, you know, the, the back of the it kind of looks structure. like a woofer. It does, yeah. You know, and then you, you see this, this, this pattern of the venting here actually looks like the same pattern as, as the grill of our loudspeakers. So exactly. uh, you can see that cohesive uh, branding, and, and man, this thing looks like a, like a rocket ship, like it's just going to take off on you. It's, it's, that's a cool looking mic. Not only do they look great, they sound absolutely amazing. And again, this is part of your sonic signature of whatever group you're in or whatever you're doing, whether you're a sound man or an artist, using the right microphone is how it transfers to an audience. So really important stuff. Okay, what else we got? All right, then we have the ND68. This is our kick drum uh, low frequency mic, right? So you put that in a kick drum. Uh, it has a voicing of what I would call a modern sound. While it's a large diaphragm dynamic microphone, so it can take a lot of SPL, uh, it's tailored a little bit more for lower frequencies in that kick drum, bringing out that low thump, uh, bringing out just enough high sizzle to get the snap. Um, works amazing on low toms, on bass rigs, uh, if you're miking up a bass cabinet, things like that. Um, again, 
there's no right or wrong answer. Try it if that's uh, if that's what works for you with the sound you're looking for. It's amazing. Yeah, I've seen people use that even as a vocal mic. You know, Absolutely. They, you know, uh, like a baby RE20. You yeah. want that warm? You know, not quite the same thing, but but it's got that that warmth that that you could do some some cool stuff with that. Absolutely. Know, even beyond its intended use, and then. This little guy hanging off on yeah. the end, what's that one now? This is the ND66. This is what we call a pencil condenser. Um, but it's not just that, um, in, in that it's an end address uh, with a push button. It's your standard pencil address, and end address condenser. Um, with the push button, I can, I can maneuver this and position this in a multitude of different ways, which makes it a very, very flexible condenser microphone. So yeah. for a condenser, you're, you're going to use that as overheads on a drum kit. Sure. Okay? Yeah. Um, you might even want that over your hi-hat or under your hi-hat, depending uh, on what sound you're going for. What's nice about its maneuverability is I can squeak it in on top, or underneath something very easily. Um, on a grand piano, you open up the top, you put two of these uh, from each side into the grand piano. It's non obtrusive. Okay. Uh, it allows cabling and everything else nice to go through. Nice low profile, right? And you because bet. you can position that, you can squeeze it into exactly. tight spaces. So that's what the bend is for. Correct. And then I, I see a switch here on yep. the side. What's there's that there's all pad about? switches, and, and so, so if your signal is just too hot, you're picking something up. I can knock down uh, the dB on it by 10 dB or 20 dB or flat. Yep, and then it has a voicing switch on it also. Oh, that's uh, the one on the front here. Yep, okay. correct. So incredibly versatile, from acoustic guitars to overheads for drums to pianos, anything that would require a condenser to pick up all those frequencies, uh, an amazing tool. Yeah, I mean, anything on a live stage, if you got to mic it, we've got a solution here in this family. So uh, exactly. we can really do it all. So um, now actually some of these the uh, mics namely the vocal mics, mm -hmm. are also available as wireless versions. 